Hello and welcome. In the previous video, I showed you how useful Dash can be in exterior space design. Now it's time to demonstrate how quickly interior spaces can be brought to life using the real-time power of Dash, Lumen, and the Megascan assets, and how helpful this can be in Arcvis projects. I show you how to utilize handy Dash tools such as scattering tools, the pipe and cable tool, physics tools, post-processing, and the helpful AI tagging system. You can try Dash for free, and you can find all the assets I used down below. I'm Tomasz Nagy, let's go! I modeled the simple interior space in Blender, which I imported to Unreal Engine. The models don't have materials yet, but I quickly changed it using Dash. I click on the Dash icon, which brings up the toolbar. I downloaded some materials and models from the Megascans library. I simply drag and drop a concrete material onto the selected mesh, which I can easily modify. As a next step, I will use the AI tagging system of Dash. Dash creates tags for the assets, so I can search also for properties, not just names. I click on the AI tagging button, which brings up the content browser. I click on the compute button to start the process. Now all my assets are available and ready to use. I type the word bookcase in and Dash will list all the assets tagged with this tag for me. If I want, I can edit my text individually. I furnished the room with some furniture, all of which I downloaded for free. You can find the links to these in the description. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the wide range of capabilities of the Dash scattering tools. First, I will create a spiral staircase using the radial scattering tool. You also find the model for the staircase in the description, so you can try it out right away. Before starting the scattering, I make sure that the mesh pivot point is in the correct position and that the mesh location is set to zero. Next, I type in radial and select the radial scatter tool. I choose my mesh and click on the plus sign. I want around 18 steps, so I set the count to that. I set the radius to zero. After this, I adjust the height and I already have the base of my staircase. I quickly align the cylinder to the center. I repeat the same process with the metal wires. Creating a staircase was as simple as that. I simply create a camera using Dash and I can adjust the settings easily. It's important to set up our camera angles early in the process so that we don't waste time working on areas that won't be visible anyway. Then I create another angle. I want to scatter some plants on the wall. I create the plane and align it to the wall. This is where the plants will go. I select the plant I like and while holding down the control, I drop it onto the selected plane. I choose scatter on selection and adjust the density, scale and other settings to my liking. Feel free to play around with the settings a bit. I will add another type of plant and use different settings. And one more. I don't want the leaves to hang over the wall across the window frame. I simply duplicate my plane and scale it down. In the surface scatter settings of my original plane, under the proximity mask 1 section, I add the scale down plane by clicking on the plus sign. In the distance section, I set the parameters and click on invert. Now, by moving the plane, I can adjust how far my plans extend. I repeat the process on the other side as well.
I want to scatter some planters under the window. I create a plane just like before. I select a few planters and holding control, I drop them onto the selected plane. Here, I play around with the parameters until I achieve the look I like. Once I find the composition I'm happy with, I use the sync option to hide the plane. Next, I will place some vegetation into the planters. I use this plate mesh to assist me. I place the plate inside the planter. I select the mesh and drop some plants from the dash library onto the selected mesh while holding down control. I play around a bit and voila! There's lush vegetation in the planter. I can repeat this method several times with different plants and I also position some larger plants into the planters as well. I type the word vegetation into the asset library and drag in any asset I like. Since I have AI tagged my assets, I simply type in the word firewood into the search bar and dash lists all the assets tagged with this tag for me. I select a few and simply drag them into the scene. I adjust the scale and rotation of some models. I select the physics tool from the toolbar. A new bar popped up. After selecting the objects, I make sure that they are set to dynamic. Then I press the start button to begin the simulation. I duplicate the locks. I play around with the tool until I achieve the composition I like. I can use the physics tool in multiple places. My new favorite dash feature is the quick pipe tool. I can quickly create cables with it for example. Using the dash curve tool I create a curve. I set the minimum spacing to 70 and then draw a curve freehand for the cable. I can freely adjust the points individually. Now I select the quick pipe tool. After selecting my desired curve, I click on the plus sign in the curve section. This creates a pipe around the curve for me. I can adjust the radius as desired. Then I refine the pipe in the smoothness section. I apply a material and now I have a great cable. I add another curve to the easy pipe. If I want, I can always come back and adjust both the curve and the cable. Nothing is baked in. I can scatter not only on meshes, but also on curves. I will scatter some hanging plants as well. I type in the keyword plant into my asset library and select any plant I like.
Now let's add some decals to the scene. I draw some decals onto the fireplace using dash. I can scale my decals by holding down Ctrl and the left mouse button. I can rotate it with Shift and the left mouse button, and I can scale horizontally and vertically by holding down Ctrl and the right mouse button. I also place some decals under the firewood. I select them all and uncheck the receive decals option in the details panel so the decals will only appear on the concrete beneath them. I've also added some spots and cracks to other concrete surfaces. Now I will scatter a few pieces of wood to add more details to the scene. I select some random pieces and click on the paint function of the physics tool. By holding down shift and the middle mouse button, I can adjust the brush size and scatter the pieces around. Next, I create the terrain, onto which I will later scatter some trees. I type in terrain, and Dash creates one in the viewport. I can adjust it as needed. In Dash you can reach all the assets from Polyhaven, and I will choose a free texture for the terrain material. I can select the resolution, and I drop it under the mesh. Then I will adjust the UV scale. Next, I want to scatter some trees. In Dash 1.6, you can easily access assets from other projects without needing to copy them separately. Another project of mine contains Megascans trees, which I can access in this project as well. I select the project folder in the top bar. As you can see, I can easily access the trees. I select a few and drag them into the scene. Let's create a dense forest. I mask out my main building using the proximity mask. The scene looks quite dark, so I will add some lights. To start, I will illuminate the armchair with a rectangle light. I use the light source in other areas as well. The back area isn't getting enough light, so I will place a larger light source near the windows. I've put more effort to highlight some areas in the scene. This corner here still feels a bit empty, so I will use the cable tool of Dash to create a string of lights here. 
I drop in a simple cube, scale it down and duplicate it twice. In the dash toolbar, I can find the cable tool. I select my cubes and now I press the plus sign in the objects section. Dash connects the three cubes with a cable. I adjust the radius to my liking and then duplicate the cables a few times. I can also adjust the gravity. I model the simple light bulb, which I will scatter along the cables I created. I select it from the dash asset library. I choose scatter on selection. I set the scale, the surface alignment and the edge breakup. And once again, I can always come back and adjust my settings. I will add some more plans to perfect my composition. As a final step, let's do some post-processing. I choose my camera and click on the Adjust Camera Settings. Here I can fine-tune my image. If you want to edit your footage even further, you can make some adjustments in DaVinci Resolve as well. So, here's the final scene. I hope this video was helpful, and if you'd like to learn more about Dash, you can find plenty of tutorials on this channel. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, and if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and you can also join our Discord server, where you can even share your creations with us. Thank you for watching, bye bye.